Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm going to show you how to make air fryer chicken tenders and cauliflower mac and cheese. Hey guys, I'm Jennifer Bands, and I help home cooks make keto meals the whole family will love. So today we are making, I'm going to make two recipes for my blog. It is the air fryer chicken tenders. And so we're going to start with that and then we're going to make cauliflower mac and cheese. It's a complete keto meal. Your whole family's going to love it. So I've got some pork rinds here that we're going to use to coat our chicken tenders and it makes the most delicious crispy coating. I'm gonna add some salt and some garlic powder and some onion powder and some smoked paprika. And I'm just gonna stir that up quickly with some tongs. And if you don't have crushed, you know, they sell crushed pork, pork rinds on Amazon, but I like to just buy a bag of pork rinds and crush them myself in the food processor. That's all you gotta do. And I've also got two beaten eggs here. So we are going to dip each chicken tender in the egg, and then we're going to dip it in to the pork rinds. So let's do two. And I'm gonna put these straight into our sprayed air fryer basket. Same thing with the last two. And if you don't want to use chicken tenders, you could just cut up some chicken breasts and do the same thing. Or you could even make little chicken nuggets. I've done that before and they are really, really good. And kids love them. Okay, I've got these ready to go in my air fryer. We're gonna cook them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes, flip them halfway through, and you wanna check and make sure that they're completely done with a meat thermometer. They need to read 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, while our chicken tenders are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make the cheese sauce for our cau cauliflower mac and cheese. So I'm going to add some heavy cream to this sauce pot with the cream cheese. And we wanna melt this completely. Okay, now that our cheese, cream cheese, and our heavy cream is melted, I'm gonna add in the cheddar cheese. And I also turned off the heat because we don't want this to get too hot or our cheese will separate. Cheese sauce will become gritty and separate. I'm also gonna add in some mustard powder. And that just gives a really interesting flavor that I really like for cheese sauce. I'm gonna add in some salt. So we just want to keep stirring this until it is the cheese is completely melted. I've already got my cheese sauce ready and it is looking fantastic. I've got some cauliflower that we steamed and this is two bags of frozen cauliflower. You could also also use one large head of cauliflower and steam that in you know a pot or something. There's instructions in the recipe for that. So we're going to add this to our cheese sauce and stir it up and as you can see it is so cheesy and thick and it's not watery just really good cheese sauce and we're also going to add bacon because of course macaroni is better with bacon i'm going to stir that in and that looks fantastic Okay, let's spoon some of our cauliflower mac and cheese onto a plate. And then I'll show you how amazing the chicken tenders look. Look at that. Perfect weeknight dinner uh, the whole family's gonna love. Make sure you check out all of the other recipes that I have linked here. This um, playlist right here is some easy dessert recipes your family's gonna love as well. And I will see you guys later. Bye.